We're blessed in this auction with a group of international prints by some of the biggest names in modern art. Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol, Keith Haring. Now, Andy Warhol, of course, um, is currently uh, one of, uh, e in front of everyone in Melbourne, we're seeing the fabulous exhibition, Ai Weiwei, Andy Warhol. And for anyone who ever had any doubt uh, about Andy Warhol, this is a great opportunity to see a, a large number of his most interesting paintings. It's a very interesting binary exhibition because both artists uh, uh, share political views uh, and it's just the way they approach them, I think, that is uh, the fascinating dynamic of that exhibition. But in the show you'll see Warhol at his very best. In our auction we have a Campbell soup can. Now if any single image by Andy Warhol defined that artist more than anything else in which he, he became a cliché, it became a cliché for him, was the Campbell's soup can. Tomato soup would have been good. We've got beef consomme. It's a fantastic image created by Warhol in 1964. He was, it was shown at the Leo Castelli Gallery in New York. It's redolent with all of those uh, pop art moments from that early 60s in New York. And the Liechtenstein in our, ex in our auction is similarly uh, an icon. It's probably one of the best-known Liechtenstein images. It was also shown at Leo Castelli's gallery. Uh, Liechtenstein had a sell-out exhibition which put him on the map in 1963. And in 1964, uh, Crack, which is the image we have as lot number one in our auction, uh, became the poster which was used by the Castelli gallery to advertise the exhibition. What we have here is one of the limited edition prints from that series. The dots and the primary colours and the use of pop imagery. It's fascinating to think of Liechtenstein as developing this notion of low and high art, which we now all take for granted. These two images of pop art are as close as you can get to icons of art of that era. And we also have in the same group of graphic prints, uh, a group of four works by Keith Haring, who became a friend of Warhol's. The two of them collaborated and they worked together on, it's easy to understand why, because there's a kind of punchy pop imagery that, that Haring has, which you can imagine uh, is, it is directly related to, to Warhol's imagery. Haring came to Australia in the early 80s and at the invitation of uh, the museum, Australian Centre of Contemporary Art, spent three weeks here, during which he produced a fantastic mural, which is still one of the uh, highlights, one of the best-known paintings of his career in Collingwood at the Technical College. He also produced a number of drawings and decorated a few doors in nightclubs. From time to time, people who were uh, acquainted with Herring, who was relatively unknown at the time, uh, come to us and say, oh, Keith Herring did this for me, and we get offers of items from Keith Herring. It's fascinating to see it. Uh, it's a tragedy that he died so young because at, at, for, from that generation, from that early generations where you start seeing the beginning of street art and graffiti art, uh, he is probably the number one artist of that, of that period. And uh, we're, we're lucky indeed to have four classic hearing images in this auction. Mm -hmm.